Hello and welcome to uh, another exercise on enlargement or dilation, as some people call it. And uh, we're looking at, in this case, looking at uh, uh, a cone. Now, it said the diagram represents a cone of height 90 centimeters. Okay, made in two parts. The top bit, we say a cone, a small cone, and a small bit, which is a truncated cone. So the top part, which is mathematically similar in all respects to the larger cone, has a height of 60 centimeters. The sum of the volume of T and S together is 10,500 pi centimeters cubed. I said, calculate the volume of S, give your answer to five significant figures. Okay. Now. It depends on how you look at this now. You can look at the little cone as the object and the big cone as the image, or look at the big cone as the object and little cone as the image. Alright, so now I'm going to look at the little cone T as the image and the big cone, uh, the whole of the big cone as the object. So, the, the height of T which is the image, okay, divided by the height of the large curve, which is the object, is 60 divided by 90, which is equal to 2 over 3. Now the height is a linear, is the height is a linear measurement. So the linear scale factor is 2 over 3. Because we are, we, we are in effect uh, enlarging from the big cone to the small cone by a scale factor of two thirds. Right. Now, the volume of T divided by the volume of the large cone, all of that, is equal to the linear scale factor cubed. Right. Now, the volume of T is equal to. Uh, 10,500 pi times 2 over 3 cubed because 10,500 pi is the volume of the large cone, the whole cone, and 2 over 3 all cubed is the volume scale factor because the volume scale factor is the linear scale factor cubed. And we then have that t is equal to uh, 100 pi times 8 over 27 because 2 over 3 cubed is 8 over 27 because 2 cubed is 8 2 times 3 times 2 which is 8 and 3 cubed is 3 times 3 times 3 which is 27 right now to find the volume for s we have the volume of the whole cone minus the volume for t now the volume for the whole cone is 10,500 pi minus the volume for T. And we can factorize this one here and say that the volume of S is equal to 10,500 pi multiplied by 1 minus 8 divided by 27. And that's the same as the volume of S is same as saying uh, 19 over 27 times 10,500 pi because 1 minus 8 over 27 is 19 over 27, and we have the answer 19,547.68. But we're expected to give the answer to five significant figures, and the answer will then be uh, 19,548 centimeter cubed. And that is the volume of S. Now, you might need to go back and have a look at this again. And just to satisfy yourself that you fully understand what I'm doing here. Okay. Right. For the next slide. Okay. Now, this is not similar to the last slide, but a little bit different. Um, here again, uh, this cone is also made of two sections smaller cone A and the truncated cone B. Cone A has got a radius of 20 centimeters. And the height of the larger complete cone, which is 
this one here, all of that. The height of the larger complete cone is 8 centimeters. The height of the truncated cone is 120 centimeters with a radius of 30 centimeters. So now we've got a choice now. Uh, the question is, uh, what is the height of the smaller cone, A? So we're looking for the height from there to there. Right. Now, there are quite a few ways you can do this, but my preferred method is to, look, is to go down the route of enlargement and or dilation or reduction, uh, if you wish. Right. Now, I'm going to say here that we have enlarged code A, right, to code B. To code B, sorry, to code, to code A plus B, all of that, sorry, to code A plus B, the larger code there. So, in effect, the larger code is the image, whilst the, uh, the smaller code A is the object. So, now, that being the case, uh, the height of the, sorry, the radius is a linear measurement. So we want to find the linear scale factor. So if we do uh, 30 divided by um, 20, that will give us a linear scale factor of 1.5. Now, because that's a linear measurement, this 1.5 linear scale factor will apply to any comparative linear measurement. So if we look at the height of the whole cone, the big cone, and the height of the small cone, now we say that the big cone is the image, so that would be h divided by h minus 120. Yes. And because this is a linear measurement, the scale factor of 1.5, the linear, sorry, the linear scale factor of 1.5 still applies. So h divided by h minus 120 is equal to 1.5, because h is a linear measurement. If we then cross multiply, we end up with h is equal to 1.5 times h minus 120. If we then open up our brackets, we end up with h is equal to 1.5 minus 180. If you then add what h to both sides and subtract h from both sides, we end up with 0 0.5 h is equal to 180. So h will be uh, 180 divided by 0 0.5. So the, that will give us an h value of 360 centimeters. And if you subtract 120 from that, that gives us uh, the height of A. The height of A then becomes uh, 240. So that would be the height of A, 240. I hope that makes sense. And uh, please, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. And bye-bye now.